feeling pretty good about the studio. I'm gonna walk through everything. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go through uh, each piece of equipment and you get to see what is in my studio. So let's do it. I'm pretty psyched with the way it turned out. Everything looks pretty good. Um, so let's get to it. This is the Native Instruments Complete keyboard and it is a 61 key keyboard. It is the second version of this keyboard. I did have the first version and then they added the screens and uh, it's just, it's, you know, it's a great keyboard. I really utilize some of the functionality that native instruments put in here, like the, the keys, the mapping, the smart mapping, because I am not somebody that plays piano. I'm learning, I'm learning theory. And that's really helpful when you wanna be within a scale and you're creating stuff. Also have the machine jam. I haven't really dug into this too much. I I have been using it for arranging in machine. It makes things a lot quicker, but I still know that I'm not using it to its full functionality, but it's nice to have when I'm putting together arrangements, it's, you know, you can see it in sequencer style and just punch things in. So I feel like it does speed things up. The machine MK3, everybody knows what this is. It is solid. It, they just keep making it better, keep making the machine software better. And it's a really exciting time to be using this Native Instruments gear. I've been using their stuff for a really long time, back to Final Scratch when I was DJing and uh, Tractor a long time ago. So I have the KRK Rocket 8s. I've had these forever. They, um, well, seriously, they're like, I think they're like 12 years old, around 12 years old for sure. And they just keep going. Um, you know, this is what I've had. This is what I'm used to. Uh, so I just keep using them. And I also have the subwoofer to go along with them because it definitely gives some of the, the bottom end that you need with these monitors. I also have the Shure microphone. It's the SM7B and you see a lot of people use this microphone. It's the reason I like it is I used to have like a, a high broadcast microphone beforehand that I'd use for doing stuff like this, like voiceover stuff. And then I, you know, didn't really have a great mic to use for any kind of singing stuff because I wasn't doing that then. And uh, yeah, years ago I had another shore mic that I used for recording vocals. But anyway, point is, is I got this mic so that I can do double duty. I do want to start recording some vocal tracks of myself and dive into that. But it's also, you know, so it's great at that, but it's also good at uh, voiceover stuff like this. The Apogee Duet. I am a long time Apogee uh, user. <laughs> Before this, I had the quartet was just like way too much, but I just, I love their preamps. I, I love the sound that you get from their uh, converters, their processors. I can't say enough great stuff about Apogee. Highly recommended. I know it costs a lot, but it's totally worth it. Lots of storage, random storage, random cables. And I have the iMac, so I have an older 27 inch iMac. So this is like, was like top of line my iMac in like 2013. I really would like a new one, but you know what? I loaded it up, I've got like 24 gigabytes of RAM in there and it's working really well for everything I need it for. So I can't complain. I did get the widescreen monitor. So I got the LG uh, 34 inch widescreen monitor. This thing has been awesome. And it's nice having the two of these together. I really feel like it covers a lot of ground in having real estate. I got this keyboard uh, for Ableton. It lights up, which is cool. And then it has the shortcuts on it. It's like a nice to have, not a must have. It's like one of those gadgets that looks cool and has some functionality. And then I have the platform desk by output, which I think is just an awesome desk. I'm so glad that I picked this up because it's just, it's so functional. And you know, it's a really nice desk. It's really solid. They really, I feel like outdid themselves on this. And I know people say, oh, it's expensive, but it's not like, it's not made like Ikea furniture. Like it's real wood and it's well thought out. So can't recommend it enough. Definitely take a look at it. The keyboard tray in itself is just so awesome to have. It's just, everything just has its own space, which is so nice when you have a home studio. My turntable, I've had these Stantons for a while now. It's definitely more than you need. This is for DJing, it's, it's hardcore. And my shelves that I put up with all my various business books uh, and some other gear. Really like these shelves. Grab those on Etsy. And I think they're overpriced because you could make them if you had the time. I didn't have the time, so I bought them. Here you can see my whole desk with everything. Yeah, that's about it. That's the studio tour. And I tried to go through a lot of the stuff I have. Um, 
maybe I didn't cover everything. Maybe that's for another video, get down into the gritty stuff, like have a cloud lifter for my shore microphone. And you see another microphone, you know, a video microphone in one of the shots. And you probably see some things I didn't go into in, in these shots, but this is a good place to start. All the links to everything are down in the description below. So if you're thinking of buying something, buying some gear, please use one of those links and I'll get a little kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it gives me some motivation to keep making these videos, keep moving forward. Cause you know, it does take time and I like making them, but it's tough. You buy the gear to make the videos. I'm trying to invest in doing some live streaming stuff. So any, any kind of, you know, little kickback I can get from a sale on Amazon, I greatly appreciate it. All right. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed some of the, the night shots too with the lights. Uh, I'm thinking it, I need to just get pounding, making music. I'm going to do a few more videos that are more business related because I actually haven't talked about it, but I have a business background and I can see there's a need for some sort of education within this community regarding aspects of business you need to pay attention to um, so that you can be profitable. Uh, you can make sure you do your taxes right and get what's coming to you back from the government uh, if that's the case, which it usually is for entrepreneurs that are doing this on the side along with uh, something else where you're getting a paycheck. So I'm sure there's loopholes you don't know about. I will tell you about them. And yeah, some other good stuff that I can dig up and, and educate, um, share knowledge about and help the community. I'd, I'd love to do that. I like doing these videos. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will be back with another video soon. Thank you.